segregation. We're 50 years into Brown, and we've resegregated. Why? Because white people don't like black people and don't want to live with them and sure don't want to go to school with them. And that's not good. I mean, please, just deal with it. Deal with it. Um, decentralization didn't work. Why didn't decentralization work? It didn't work because there was not enough money to implement it, and taxpayers don't want to pay any more money to educate, and not, at least not black people in the center cities. So, so you know, anywhere you go, <clears throat> but I don't even want you to deal with the, with the, what do you call it, anecdotal knowledge. I want you to deal with the studies. How about the study that they did in Northwestern, where the students sent out applications for jobs using names, black names and white names. How about that one? So Lakeisha Washington and Jamal Jones didn't get the job, but Brendan Fraser and Emily Walsh did. I mean, now how much clearer can you be that whiteness is important? But then what do you say to a young black person in terms of yeah, education is worth it. You gotta get, you know, get out there and and the way the kinds of things that your mother used to say to you about get as educated as you can and you can beat the system. It's not gonna work. That's why these kids aren't doing anything in school. Don't you understand? They understand you a big liar. And the other thing is we're not doing anything about it. The preachers aren't doing anything about it. The teachers aren't doing anything about it. NAPSI's not doing anything about it. NAACP's not doing anything about it. The Urban League's not doing any about it, anything about it. Why? Because the topic is politically incorrect and must be sanitized. Even at the expense of their own children's it education. It is done so. That's what's happening right now, right here, this minute. Is it, is we it, don't have the courage that our people had during Jim Crow. Where is the Ida B. Wells? Where is the Mary McLeod Bethune? Where are they? We don't have the courage that our ancestors had. Why not? It would seem that it doesn't take as much courage to step out there and, and, and fight the battles. But it does. It does? Oh, yeah. Even though on the surface, at least a lot of young people seem to feel, you know, things are, even young black people seem to feel, things are really so much better and, and there's really not that much of a difference in terms of the way the races are being treated and it really is a meritocracy, and you know uh, it'll all work out in the no, end. That'll and wash. That'll come out in the wash. My son has a PhD in animal science genetics. He can't get a job in any university because they choose Chinese. Now, why do they choose Chinese? Because they're cheaper. The Black Detour is an independent media outlet that advocates for Black people to not only be empowered but informed on issues in the Black community. We're part of a growing movement in America to empower black people all across the United States. For the latest in black news, history, and culture, click the link below to visit theblackdetour.com for black culture unfiltered. Get a good education. Follow your mind. Follow the dictates of your conscience. Do what you think and feel has to be done in order for you to achieve. And you'll be able to succeed. I really believe that. Do you think that young African Americans feel hopeful? No. The, okay. No, Do you I think don't. that that is self-defeating if you are yes. hopeless? Yes. yes. So what, what can be done to make young people see that they can be hopeful? Or you can do, you can constantly lecture to them and constantly answer their queries and their, their questions about things. But so much of it has to do with the kind of environment in which they are reared. Yes. Then, of course, 
young people are bombarded with negative images oh, yes. too, yes. in different from different forms That's of media. Right. So that the, those repetitive messages mm -hmm. perhaps are making them feel hopeless or defining them. That's right. That they believe these definitions. Yes. What can be done, do you think? What can be done to counter these repetitive negative messages and images? I still say that basically you, you always have to go back to the environment in which they're being reared. You always have to go back to that. I know of young people, I had to get a few of them straightened out a few weeks ago. Don't give me that answer, don't tell me that. <clears throat> they didn't want to get high marks in their class because it means that they, are, uh, they, think, they're, they think they're it. Uh, they, they just want to be mediocre individuals. And I told them, say, there's too much mediocrity in this country. Too much. Yes. You've got to excel because excellence reaps rewards.